Bulgaria is increasingly on the front line of the European migration crisis. More than 12 years ago, country joined NATO and later EU, despite its long alliance with Russia. In fact, it has been critical of Russian actions in Ukraine. On recent visit to Kiev, President Rosen Plevneliev was presented with Person of the Year Award. And today, the Global Conversation is meeting him in his administration in Sofia. Mr. President, thank you for talking with Euronews. Thank you. This award was given to you for your contribution to the defense of Ukraine's sovereignty and integrity. Yet Russia continues to hold Crimea and it hampers Ukraine's integration with the EU. Of course I worry about the Russian um, uh, behavior, uh, not just on the Ukrainian crisis, but generally. Uh, we see Russia that is telling us that they have their ambitions as a world power and they have their spheres of interest that have to be respected. But I think that this is a very wrong policy which has to stay back in the 19th century. Nations should not be strong with their armies of soldiers and nuclear weapons. In the 21st century, nations should be strong with the success of the people. The previous uh, recipients uh, include Pop John Paul II, presidents of Poland, Georgia, Saakashvili and Lithuania, Grybauskaite, former NATO chief and uh, US Senator John McCain. How does it feel like being part of such a group? I want to be a friend with everyone and I want to be a friend with Russia. I love Tchaikovsky uh, and its music. I love Dostoevsky and, and its writings uh, and we love Russian culture. We love Russian people, uh, but we cannot agree as proven Democrats when uh, Kremlin today is violating the international uh, law and the international order. We cannot agree with frozen conflicts. Russia uh, used to be a very important market for Bulgaria, but uh, since it introduced embargo in response to the EU sanctions, how much of a loss is it for you? Well, we have uh, significant losses. Uh, just look at the Bulgarian agriculture, the Bulgarian tourism. But yes, Bulgaria stands for the sanctions. When we have to take bold political decisions about preventing future instability in Europe, then money is not a factor. But what do you think of energy security? We depend on uh, Russian gas supplies big time. Uh, and we're working on alternatives. We will see the gas interconnector between Bulgaria and Romania to be finished. We have agreed with our friends in Greece about starting a gas interconnector. One of the most important engines, uh, let's say, to trigger a new engine of integration is the European Energy Union. This award that Ukraine, uh, Ukraine gave to you uh, it is also for respect of uh, values, European values. Out of solidarity, out of humanity, out of discipline, would Bulgaria accept uh, migrants according to the quotas that the EU might uh, impose? Yes, we agree with the formula to redistribute migrants and we will take those migrants. And yes, we contribute to the common European uh, solution. Human Rights Watch uh, is flagging you know, pushbacks, abuse at borders. Uh, beatings, robbery of asylum seekers. If there are such signals, could be Human Rights Watch, could be the United Nations Refugee Organization, the Bulgarian institutions will take very seriously every one of them. Are you fully supportive of the deal with Turkey, uh, which provides for you know, acceleration of accession process, liberalization of visas for Turkey? You cannot guarantee security if you're make yourself as a castle with big walls and uh, you're not interested in everything around you. This is a very wrong strategy. And yet uh, you are building or rebuilding the barbed wire fence uh, along the border with Turkey. Bulgaria is building just partially a temporary, a temporary equipment, a temporary fence, uh, just in order to serve temporary means. Does it make sense to join Schengen zone while these temporary measures uh, exist? I stand firmly against building walls between uh, the European member states. Schengen is the dream of 500 million Europeans to travel without borders. 
the migrants perhaps are also discouraged by internal problems of Bulgaria. For instance, you are unfortunately the poorest country in the EU and also uh, European Commission keeps reminding you of setbacks in your anti-corruption strategy, of uh, slow progress uh, fighting the organized crime. Bulgaria has done a remarkable progress. If you look, for example, at uh, the GDP per head ratio, uh, 15 years ago, years ago, Bulgaria was 27% from the average. And yes, the poorest, the poorest. But today we do have 47%. But people are, uh, you know, emigrating. I cannot stop my people. They're free. And they contribute also to their motherland. And we keep a very strong contact with them. And we know as the country is developing, is modernizing. And that's what we do now in Bulgaria. They will come back. Bulgarians and other East Europeans, their workers are treated differently from the locals in countries like Germany, Britain. The divisions are taking different shapes and different formats. For example, the migration crisis uh, is about to split the European uh, Union within uh, West and East, uh, the Western countries that say we are established democracies and we cannot agree with some of the countries on the Eastern part of the European Union that are not willing to accept uh, uh, refugees. On the other side, if you look, for example, at the debt and the economic crisis that might split uh, European member states into North and South. But no matter which divisions we are speaking about, the biggest crisis that will destroy all of us could be the moral crisis, the crisis of lack of solidarity within the European Union, the crisis of forgetting who we are, the crisis of lessons not learned from history. Given all this crisis, would you advise Ukraine to pursue membership? I'm sure that sooner or later this is going to happen. The European integration is your own process to modernize, to restore rule of law, to fight corruption, to create institutions that serve people, not oligarchs. That's what I wish to see in Ukraine. Any option for Bulgaria to go back to Russia if it regains its strength and the European Union declines? I've been living 25 years in communism. And uh, I know what is not to be a member of the European Union. I know what is to be alone or what is to be just uh, a subordinate of a world power as the Soviet Union. I don't want this to happen again. I want Bulgaria to be a proud member of the European Union. That's the only way for us to guarantee our prosperity and to guarantee our safety and security. Mr. President, thank you for your interview, for your news. And I thank you very much.